see a sign. What type of sign? I think that's uh, welcome to the Yukon sign. Oh, are we almost there? Oh, what's that say? Leaving Hi, British, British Columbia. <laughs> leaving British Columbia. Yeah, we are. Woo! We Woo! made it. We made it to where? The Yukon. Well, actually, maybe right there. I think the Yukon's right there, but we made it to the sign! Let's go to the Yukon. Yukon. We are Zach and MP, traveling with our two dogs, Sydney and Jasper, aboard our self-converted Promaster van. This is part two of our road trip to Northern Canada. Last week we shared our highlights of traveling north through BC's Northwest Highways. This week we take you through the Yukon Territory, through bike rides, hike, gold panning, history, breathtaking views and more. Join us on this segment as we fall in love with the North and its natural beauty. This was our spot for the night. First night in the Yukon. Doggies, what did you think of this this campsite? You like it? Zach? Yeah. What's happening this morning? Um cleaning. And cleaning? Then, yeah. Well oh then we're gonna go mountain bike. Sweet. Where are we right now? We are in Marsh Lake. Marsh Lake. Marsh Lake and we're about, about 20 minutes from Whitehorse. Sweet! Here she comes. How is it? Oh, it's a grind. Yeah? A Isn't it pretty though? Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this. How you doing? biking this morning in some of the Yukon what seemed like a very good a very good white horse trail um, called the dream and it was quite the dream yeah and now we're drinking our local kombucha we went to the market kombucha fresh veggies and bread. some fresh bread so essentials honestly but now we're going to go get the staples. And we're now we're going out. to do a big grocery shop because we're pretty done from the one we did in Squamish. And we're going to the superstore because we just don't want to run around. We just want everything to be in one place. This place looks nice. What are we doing? Shower time. And a game center. Oh, shower. shower update. How are you feeling? Fabulous. Fabulous. So we had some hot tub time. Some diving pool. Some flips. Felt good. Bike's For, still there. Bike's still there. That's a good sign. Did uh, first pool swim since COVID actually. Oh, still locked. Today, oh, now, it's dinner time. Jasper's exhausted from mountain biking today. You can go back to sleep, buddy. Oh Sydney's also exhausted. What you making? Simple pasta tonight. Simple, but what? Pesto pasta, and I think he's adding tomatoes. On the fun box, they're different colors. The fun tomatoes. And a yellow one. Ooh, yum yum. Looks pretty good. I'm really hungry. Get 
Can I start? No. I need a fork. Well, then you can go. We see a lot of those. Oh, it's not focusing. But anyways, it says wait for pile of car. Um, usually takes a while, but it's a great opportunity to make snacks. Make a snack. What's on the menu? Charcuterie board. Without meat, because Without meat. we don't do that. But it's still yummy. We're still waiting for the pilot car. We've had way more gravel road than we expected today. Yeah, it seems like Dawson City is this like unreachable city. The GPS has not really gone down either in like the last 30 minutes. So much more. So much. More gravel. We're at the gold rush. So we're not quite sure what year we just got transported into. Look at the sidewalks. If there wasn't cars in here, you would be able to convince me we went back in time. So this is what you do out here. We're in Dawson. Dawson City. Western, it's a wild west. We're gonna try to find some gold later, maybe. Pay for a trip. That's the plan. Get some gold. So, what's in your hand, babe? Gold pants. We're gonna go get rich. We're gonna go find some gold flakes. Is that gonna pay off our trip? Eh, maybe not flakes. Probably not. Depends how hard we try. We're gonna spend the entire rest of the trip trying to get rich off gold. <laughs> And MP, she's gonna take a sour toe shot. No, I don't know. She said she said this is the one thing she wanted to do up here. I thought it, it was a drink. Until she found it wasn't a cocktail. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. Let's see how it goes. And Amphi's gonna realize there's a human toe in there. No. Yeah. What? You can't do that. You don't know there's a toe in the shot? No. Yeah, there's a toe. And if it touches your lips, Ew. something happens, but I don't remember what it is. I don't know. There's a real human toe in there. How can they get away with that? Well, there is. So, what's gonna happen? Amphi's gonna order it, find out no, about I'm not it. Ordering it now. And now, uh, Zach's gonna have to take it, and I don't wanna do it. How can there be a human toe in it? Well, we're gonna go find out. <laughs> no. Let's go find, let's go and get MP a toe shot. Is it really? Yeah, it's really. No. Yeah. Here we are at claim six, the free claim just outside of Dawson City, where a local mine has dropped off this big pile of pay dirt, which is allegedly full of gold flakes and little bits of gold that we as tourists and travelers can actually get a pan from the tourist center and pan for some gold. So we're gonna stay here, but the tourist center did give us a very clear warning that if we go panning on anywhere but claim six, the claim holders have the right to shoot us. We don't know if that's real, but we're gonna stay at claim six and try to find some gold. So, read the instructions. Swirl it, pour it out, repeat. Yeah, but I examine. Feel like it's not efficient. Babe, look at it, look at this. We're using a pan to find gold. I don't think this is about efficiency. Are we rich? I had one, but it's so hard to grab it. So I lost it. 
Can you show me how to how to pan for gold? One more. How many are we at, you think? Uh, I think half of what's in that thing is actually gold. Like, like a million dollars? No, far. Far from it? Okay. You can see how it's addicting. It's kind of relaxing though. You have to analyze every single piece. But once you see it once, it's kind of like you can't mess it. You can't mess it up. Because you think gold is shiny. Gold is actually not shiny. It's really bad. Yeah. Nice night. Unexpected. So it's nice to talk to stranger again and sit. Basically, we just sat up beside him at the bar and we started chatting. Yeah. And next thing you know, we got a table with his friend. And we kept talking. And we kept talking. And then two hours later, it's still and daylight. <laughs> and home is here. How's your cereal? I think this might be the first day we woke up to sunshine. Mm -hmm. In a while. Yeah. The weather here, kind of gray lately. Mm -hmm. Well, first, we make coffees. Then we go try to book that tour that we've been wanting to do. So, we got the last two spots to go visit the dredge. We have tickets. To visit the dredge number four, which is the dredge we saw from the outside yesterday when we went gold panning, but this time we get to go inside. Hey doggies. Sorry, it's a no doggy event. Oh boy. We raced up that one. Took no video before. How you feeling? Um, not as bad. I'm just a little disappointed we can't get to the top because we booked it. A tour and we're not gonna make it so let's go down now well this is our top we could have done that still looks like a fun trail jasper you ready to send okay all right babe you want to go first go. we we're gonna go inside with that guy. So cool. This dredge was built years after the actual gold rush and it was designed to pick up smaller pieces of gold that would have been missed by hand mining years ago. All these motors were powered by a hydro plant almost 70 miles away. The dredge would pick up dirt from the ground and process it through a trommel and through a process of separation. The gold would be collected, spinning out the unwanted dirt on the other side. This whole operation was controlled by only four people in the dredge at a time, and the dredge would operate 24 hours a day. The captain would sit alone in the operation room overlooking the whole process. This is an amazing work of engineering, and it was a successful operation until the dredge was flooded by a collapsed dam up the river. It stopped operation and remains here ever since. So in 46 years, this thing captured eight metric tons of gold. It did 23 kilograms every three to four days. Well, in twice a month, the company would ship about a dozen new gold bricks to the bank. We are going north. Dempster Highway. Oh, and here it is. Highway, bumpy as heck. Bumpy as heck. 
came to the Yukon. Bumpy ass roads and views. We made it. Well, kind of. We made it to the overflow because the parking, is, the camping is full, and they couldn't believe it. That's how not often it's that busy here. This overflow parking. Pretty sweet, and we were allowed to have our propane fire pit. Honestly, I think we might have better views on the overflow. Not a bad evening. First evening and. Tombstone Park, Territorial Park. We didn't get into the campsite, but they let us park in the parking lot for free. Good. And the dogs, pretty tired from their bike ride. So they're gonna hang out in the van. Bye-bye. Oh, so last night, Wait another late night. Another late night. We also thankfully got woken up by our new neighbor in the night. Because there was northern lights. I can't believe it. Like beautiful ribbon, fast moving, colorful ribbon. There's... Northern lights. I can when they knock on the round to say, Guys, there's northern lights. I I rushed my underwear outside in like sub 10 degrees. <laughs> but we have zero photos of. Well, it's hard to take photos of them, so it's all in our heads. Sydney, do you remember? It was very cool. Never seen it before. Quite a hike. Yeah. But quite the view. There's a. Uh... Tombstone range. But we came from way down there. There's a parking lot. It's been about an hour. That's our first peak of we think is three. Look at those. So nice. Sydney, what do you think? Marmot! Marmot, marmot, marmot! Sydney loves marmot. My guess is it will be quite the incline. Woo! So we've been bushwalking for what? Probably an hour, is it? 50 minutes. 50? Yeah. Following animal tracks here and there. And when we lose the track, then it becomes quite a bit slower. But Trying to avoid her feet from getting wet as well. But the dogs are killing it. That's Arizona. Trying to find the easiest way. We're just learning to be animals a little bit more. <laughs> learning from our dogs.
we're standing somewhere pretty special. All the rain to our left will go to the Pacific. All the rain behind me to our right is gonna go to the Arctic Ocean. It's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you the river that's down there. All this, that whole river, it's eventually gonna to go to the Arctic. Or those lakes and streams, they go to the Pacific. We're, we're walking and hiking up the continental divide. What do you think? Apparently climbing up to that peak way over there was not enough for the dogs. Here we are, bushwhacking to get back to the car. So far it seems to be a better route. Tundra jungle. We made it through the bushwhack. Yeah. We can see the valley. 